Alright guys, so today I have another very, very cool card trick that you can do. All you need is a deck of cards, and to get started, what you're going to do is just have the spectator pick a couple of random cards from the deck, um, and it's going to be very, very simple. So basically, you could start off, let's say, we have the spectator, you're going to have them say stop whenever they want. Let's say they were to say stop right here. You pull them out, alright, it's a random position, but lo and behold, to the spectator, they've happened to pick one of the four aces, right? So at this point, what you're going to try and do is tell them that you're going to, you know, mix up the deck and whatnot, and uh, basically keep the deck mixed up as you have them select the cards, right? So in this case, you shuffle the deck again. You can have them just cut the deck anywhere they want and tell them, listen, all right, so the first time you picked the card, it happened to be an ace, right? And then the second time you picked a card, you went ahead and shuffled the deck and cut it as well. And the spectator is going to cut the deck wherever they want to, in this case, they're going to land on another ace, right? So the next thing you can do is you can have them go through the middle of the deck. You can have them pick whatever card they want. In this case, let's say you snap your fingers and it just so happens to be another ace, right? So at this point, you tell the spectators, listen, I can put this back into the middle of the deck, snap my fingers, and again, you're still going to come back with another ace, right? So a real spectator is probably going to be pretty amazed at this point when the last thing you do is you go ahead and you have them truly select any card. Okay, so let's say they were to select this card here, for example. And like I said, guys, from a shuffled pack, you have the spectator select a card. And the last and final card, if I can get the card off the table, is not an ace, right? But you tell your spectators you've already picked all three aces. You just need one more, and you can pick the card up, the last one, and show this to the spectator their last card is actually an ace. So this trick is pretty simple. Um, and if you guys want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so this video is, you know, it's basically just a card production. You really only need um, a deck of cards and four aces and you can get started. Okay, so like I said before, um, it, this is just a four card production trick where you just have the spectator pick, you know, you know, some cards out of the deck and you basically produce the four aces. Now I would say this trick is kind of intermediate. It's not too advanced. Um, you can add in some Benzai spin out if you want. I do have a link or I do have a tutorial set up for that. Um, but it's just a, you know, a little idea for you guys to do something while you're probably locked up. But you can start off, just put the aces on top of the deck and that's pretty much the setup and you can mix up the deck. Just leave those four cards on top and then uh, from there you're pretty much ready to go. The first thing that I did in the performance was I did a slip force, which I'll leave a link for. And you basically just force the top card of the deck and it's probably my favorite force only because it is, it's literally so simple. Um, you can just literally, you can have the spectator, you know, say stop whenever they want and you'll always get the top card. So that's always nice to have. Um, you know, so this, you stick the next card, you're still left with three more aces. And the next thing you do is you can just shuffle the deck while being super nonchalant. Just keep those cards on top. And don't really make a big deal about you shuffling them. You just kind of show the spectators you're doing it. So at this point, um, with the next three cards on top, what you're going to do is do a cut force. So you have the spectators cut the deck wherever they want to. And then you take the bottom half of the deck and then you just stick it on top, just like that. You don't actually complete it. The top card is going to be the card they pick, which is the top card. So it's it's going to be an ace, and all you do is you just kind of misdirect them a little bit and, you know, kind of get their mind away so they don't come to the correct conclusion that this is actually the top card, and you kind of, okay, so any card you cut anywhere you wanted to in the deck, and it just so happened to be, pull it off, and it's another ace. So then just be careful, just put the rest of the pile, put the aces back on top, and then you're ready to go to the third production. All right, so next thing you do is have the spectators pick um, whatever card they want to from the middle. In this case, let's do it from here. And you do not show them the card. You just, in one smooth motion, you take it out, catch a pinky break, put the card on top, and then do a double lift. You never want them to see the card. You just want to take it out, put it on top, do a double lift, show the spectators, oh wow, look, it's another ace. And then you flip the cards over, and then say, look, no matter how hard we try to even get rid of these cards, I can put it back in the middle still comes back to the top. So it's a little ambitious uh, card routine in that sense. Um, and then the last move, basically, you know, like I said, you guys, this would be a cool part to implement the little Benzias spin out if you want to. I'll leave a link for that. Um, and then 
what I did, I believe what I did was I just cut the deck, took it from the bottom, and did like a little one-handed fan. And then this way, you know, it's a little presentation for the spectator. It looks cool, whatever. And you can pick the card out, and let's say they were to pick this card from here. And then all you have to do is, you know, act like you messed up. You know, flip the card over. It happens to not be the Ace of Spades. Um, and then all I did was a uh, shape shifter change. So basically you have their card and you say, oh, wow. So, okay. I mean, we've already, you know, put all three aces here. We only need one more. And then all you do is really quickly do one of these and you flip the card over and it looks pretty nice. So I'll leave a link for that as well. You can also do the shake change, which is also really fun. You have the cards in the same exact position. Basically shake the cards around and it comes back. That's always pretty fun. And there's, there's other stuff you can do, but I just want to give you guys a quick idea of some activities you can do with a deck of cards while you're all locked up in quarantine. So, hope you guys stay healthy. Leave some you know comments down below if you guys want to see something else. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching.